Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is uh, the last Starfighter, and <laughs> and we're back with Sonic Four. We're playing Casino Street Sound today. Uh, it's basically a rehash of um, Casino Night Zone. Casino Night Zone. Uh, Casinoopolis or Casino? Every casino. Game. Yeah, well, no. At least some other, some of the other casino ones were had their own thing. Like Casino Nopolis had, um, you know, the, the, the actual pinball games that you had to play. And people complain about those, but I thought they were really fun. They have so, in, in this level. Yeah, no, they have slot machines, but in yeah. Sonic Adventure they were mandatory. Yeah, and in yeah. Sonic Heroes they had, you know, the bingo, which is like a weird thing to put in as a bingo game, Sonic game. But it was actually yeah. kind of fun because they, it was the first time they really implemented like platforming and, and you know and and speed and stuff in a casino level in a 3D game yeah. and so I'd love to see a casino level in a, a Sonic um, uh, a, a, a 3D Sonic game because I think that they would, I mean I know they had it on the DS but um, I haven't played the DS version but either way you know it would be better on a console just because you know you can't there's only so much you can do with the DS I believe the uh, casino levels were actually the most popular levels from the old game I, I think that that's you know a wide opinion because they are so fun, aren't they? I mean, have you seen the angry N the Nintendo nerds? Well, angry video game nerds. Uh, uh, little Sonic retrospective because he talks about Casino Night Zone in that. No, I haven't seen. That. Uh, do you follow the angry video game? I do, nerd? but for some reason I haven't seen this. Uh, it's uh, well, I think it's on. If you think, I think if you go to the actual AV Jam page, it's on there. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, now apparently in this level you can see signposts that have chili dogs on them, uh, but I yeah but you know those things that go that you bounce off and they they disappear after a while. Yeah. In the in Sonic Two, I always thought that those were supposed to look like chili dogs, but obviously. I they were burgers, but. Yeah, I, no, I always assumed they were supposed to look like chili dogs as like a reference to the to the series. But then now that I think about it, Sonic Two came out in 1992, and the series has came out in like 1993. So, yeah. I, I, actually, I don't think I ever really believed it, but I like to think that they, they were <laughs> chili dogs. This level has actually. I think this level is actually one of the only ones that has a unique thing. Isn't it? It's got like those cards in this. Uh, the cards. Yeah, the cards are. No, uh, no. Uh, you know. Whatever the fucking labyrinth zone ripoff, the uh, labyrinth. Yeah. It it has um those uh, those labyrinth. Yeah. It, it has that bit where you, everything goes dark and it oh, has yeah, the yeah. lanterns and stuff. That was probably the most original level, if you ask me. And it has the boulders, which you know we're in Sonic Adventure, but they you know you get to play it 2D, so yeah. Um, so it is different. Uh, so I would call whatever the fuck it's called level. <laughs> I think you're it looks like you're preparing for that ring. Yeah, I was like shit, I'm so not gonna slow I'm, down I'm not gonna ring. run past that one. Um I, I think after that I do that quite a lot. I'm, I'm just like, god damn it, I'm not gonna miss the one because you know you know, I mean obviously I am getting them here, but you don't see the times when I I I like miss it by an inch or something like that. And I'm just like, God damn it, I did that level perfectly and I one jump. One jump like and like it's fucked it all over. <laughs> Even late for like two seconds, Sonic just stops and just runs away. Yeah, I know it's annoying. Uh, I, 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 I think that's just a ridiculous punishment for not stopping anyway. Like, yeah. they, they, you know, you get 50 rings, you get to the end of the stage, and then you don't don't jump, and they fucking punish you for that. It's that it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't bring back. You know, like once you beat the level, you can just walk around collecting little points or something. Collect points. Well, like in Sonic One, if you jumped around, you could collect like a thousand points, ten thousand points, or. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, well, well like I said, if they're gonna do this, like Sonic, f like actually have it be a, like a Sonic Four, as if it had been in the Mega Drive games, which I think yeah. that is the best idea because we have seen lots and lots of like. I mean, Sonic Generation. If you want to play, like you know, if you want to get some, some nostalgia, play Generations. Oh, fucking yeah. <laughs> I know, I was rushing too much and <laughs> I, I made a stupid mistake. Um, no, I didn't die though, technically, because there was a. What, I mean, what's tangibly happening to Sonic there? Okay, <laughs> He's you crashing into some explanation points. <laughs> he doesn't like explanation <laughs> He doesn't get stressed. Yeah, what happens is in the game he's actually being shouted at by the circles, and he yeah. just, and Sonic's just very timid and doesn't like confrontation. <laughs> I mean, I know he has a badass attitude and everything, but he's just putting that on really. If you shout at him and you give him a hard time, he'll he'll go off a qu in a corner and cry. Yeah, he might come back <laughs> later, but you know he he won't be the same. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh god, this bit, this fucking bit. No. <laughs> I That's hate first, it. first fail. It's kind of cool that they brought that from the cans. Because I don't think the cans win since like. Yeah, Sonic. and you can you can change the angle as well. I don't yeah, think like could... Sonic Three was like the first one to have that in the casino zone. Well, I do like that they've. Um, you know, mixed in other uh, things from other levels because I think they would do that in a, in a Mega Drive game. But to be honest, like I said, I don't think that this is how Sonic 4 would have been like if it had been on, you know, in Sonic's heyday. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously it's it's only four levels, so you know, blatantly it's not. But but I mean, even so, even if you discount the length and everything, if you if you, even if you just go, oh, this, well, this is just the start of the game, I I don't get the sense that this is a Sonic 4. Yeah. You, you know, uh, even when I when I first played the game, that that was like so I had that in my mind. And don't try and jump off onto that platform here because you won't do it. <laughs> you never know. Give it a. I, well, I, I tried it, but it doesn't work. It's like they put it there just to fuck with you. <laughs> Maybe they like that. By the it way, is, if, it you is get, if you want to get past those bouncy bits with the you know the triangle bouncy bits, just do homing attack over and over. Just just do it over and over and oh and God, y it. Um, yeah, it's really weird in this game. If you press homing attack in midair, it will make Sonic go faster. Yeah. But th this the game design will fuck you over so many times for doing that. You know, it, for for using jumps for speed, the game design will fuck you over. Um, I think I tried to go through the entire game without using the home and the fact because I'm so anti-modern Sonic. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, really anti-modern Sonic or modern Sonic? You don't like any modern uh, Sonic games? Well, I like a massive. Late. I love Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2, but after that, sort of dropped. Oh, all right. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. I mean, well, no, it totally is fair actually. I mean, um, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 were great. Uh, I didn't mind Heroes. I, yeah, I didn't mind Heroes. I thought it had potential. Let's see. The thing is, I think that uh, you know the re the games of recent Sonic years aren't. They all have potential. You know, yeah. Sonic Heroes was a good idea because it's like, oh, well, we have all these characters and we need to do something with them. You know, I've always wanted to be able to play. You know, have a, a Sonic game where you can pick and choose your sidekicks. So like, you could you could go you could have two you know sidekick characters and you could choose like Tails and Knuckles and stuff and I know that sounds exactly like Heroes but it's not because I would have the Tails and Knuckles be like AI yeah. characters and you could like command them to do a few things but you'd mainly be playing the Sonic you know it would be, be like in um, uh, Sonic 3 where you're um, where you get Sonic uh, y you know you get to have Tails pick up Sonic if you get the other play, so. yeah yeah um I think they well they kind of made that with a uh, I think Sonic Advance three maybe I think it was did they I think I have Sonic Advance three uh, well they had some sort of co-op thing where you get to pick your person and you could like work with them it was one of the Sonic Advances yeah was it did they just call somebody I think I'm gonna die here by the way yeah, it, was, it looks like you're about to, yeah it looks <laughs> like you're tr struggling oh yeah that bit is a fucking bitch I hate it so <laughs> bad I hate it uh, I hate die it. in midair seriously yeah. <laughs> Well, I, oh, to be fair, Sonic's like grasping for help as he falls, so um, you know it's kind of it makes sense. You do that to get the rings. Uh, yeah, I wanted to finish this stage with enough rings to get because get a bonus stage. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that this will still be lot, you know, short enough to, to fit in one in one part though, because I'm pretty yeah. sure I did check all that, you know, before I I uh, sent the files to you. Uh, <sighs> but what the fuck is this jump again? Uh, yeah, I know. I hate it. I hate. It. But this, seriously, I they, they're just. I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, I'm not saying there weren't parts in the old games that were completely dickish, but sometimes it feels like the, they were just like, oh, let's increase playtime by just putting in some. I mean, the thing about Sonic 4, and I've heard this, uh, is that. They were planning on having Sonic 4 just be like the first of a bunch of um, like little mini Sonic games on yeah. on the uh, Xbox Live, but then they decided to make it four. So it was like shoehorned as four. Yeah. Uh, I, I have no idea if that's true or not. So don't like you know if you're listening to this and you're commenting and you you think I'm wrong, don't go do your research because I'm just saying right now. Don't don't quote me on that. But <laughs> but uh, you know I heard it from someone who wasn't sure about it and now I'm not sure about it. So you know so now you're sharing it to me. <laughs> don't don't be all like don't you know get like you know 
whispering it around and stuff. I don't want to like start some rumours and then like in two weeks find out that somebody's been taught saying that fucking Yuji Naka is actually some kind of coke addict that that, <laughs> that just like I'm starting that rumour. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, because you know how rumours evolve. That's you know how that will that you know that will happen. You'll hear somebody on on some other playthrough going, oh yeah, and I actually have from a very credible source that heard from that 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 Yuji Naka has, has turned to fucking heroin, and 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 now Sega are like. You know they don't know what to do and shit, and and they're you know like I don't want to hear none of that. They, they already turned to her in 2006 when they made Sonic. Games. But yeah, we'll talk about more about Sonic 06 in a bit because I was going to say um all game you know a lot of Sonic games have potential, but um uh we are going on so many like tangents with with like fucking yeah, we're, we're we're like fucking Ross Noble here, <laughs> but we'll remember it all just like he does. Yeah. <laughs> um uh, so uh. Yeah, uh, I mean to be fair, Yuji Naka doesn't even have that much creative control of the Sonic games these days, anyway. But uh, and the second and the other guy left. Yeah. Well, while we're go- go- and that, I just found that route as I was doing this playthrough. I was like, hey, <laughs> secret route. <laughs> um, see, see, what I was going to say about you know the Sonic games having uh, potential is Sonic Heroes. Yeah, that's kind of a core idea. You can see why that 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 makes sense. Uh, Sonic 6, Well. It is a terrible game, oh, Let, it, but I'm not saying it isn't. But you can see it has potential. I mean, it's a game about you know a, a telekinetic hedgehog from the future who comes back in time to kill Sonic because he thinks he's evil. Like, how the fuck could that not be cool? Yeah. It, you know, like Hub Worlds, like Sonic Adventure, which I really liked. You know, how could how could those not be cool? Oh, they're, well, that's because they're fucking big and you know that, that nothing's in them. Like, I wouldn't mind if they're big if there was stuff to do, but you know. And you know the loading screens. The loading screens, but you know if it was a good game, I could handle that because the Dreamcast didn't have the best loading screens. Yeah, the Dreamcast. Was pretty bad. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, and I, 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 you know, play a lot of games on the Amiga with about a billion different discs. Oh God, the Amiga. <laughs> yeah. So. I would like rant so much about. Sonic 06, but I don't think we have enough time in a video <laughs> for me to go over everything about what? Sonic 06. See, I, w- I would do a playthrough of Sonic 06, but I'm dreading recording it, and, and I'm dreading actually having to do the commentary and stuff, like, and I, you know, uh, so I, I don't know whether I should or not, in fact, me and uh, Blood War were talking about possibly, I don't know if I should say it now, in case people actually want me to do it and, and go, oh, do it, do it, do it! But me and Blubber were talking about maybe doing a Sonic Shuffle playthrough. Oh, do it, do it, do it! <laughs> like, it'll take forever, and it, but it will be hilarious. <laughs> and you play it like <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God, Sonic Shuffle is just like so cheap, though. It can be, yeah. I actually enjoy it, but I can understand what people's criticisms of it. No, I can beat you. Yeah. Knuckles uh, will always win. <laughs> I don't remember Knuckles being the one that always win. Oh my god, this has been going on for a long time. Oh, uh, it's the boss now, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and of course this boss is very... Casinoopolis. Casinoopolis? Casino Night Zone, not Casino Casinoopolis. Casinoopolis was Sonic Adventure. I thought you t- told me you were a Sonic God. Hey, hey, hey. Sometimes it slips. <laughs> god has made mistakes, Bieber's here. <laughs> I, I, I think we can list many mistakes that God has made. <laughs> Why I would they brought back something? Like, if they were going to bring back all these levels, I, I really wish they brought back something like Chemical Plan. Or... Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, but so, just like I said, I'm not too keen on like the rehashes. I mean, Chemical Hand, aside from Generations, hasn't had too many rehashes. Yeah. Uh, oh, we should end the part. Um, yeah. yeah. That's been Last Starfighter and Target Hitting. Uh, recording. Oh, I was gonna do it again while we. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, just we'll, we'll see you next time. See you guys next time. Thanks in, for watching. Guys. In uh, part three of the Starfighter Star comms and the Jet Games Recreated uh, playthrough of Sonic 4. Bye.